to the Sports Fan 100 News. I am your host, the Sports Fan 100. This is episode 13 of the Sports Fan 100 News. Cue the intro. of the AK-47 rifle dying today. Mikhail Kalashnikov, the Russian designer of the AK-47 assault rifle, which has killed more people than any other firearm in the world, died on Monday, officials said. Kalashnikov, who was in his 20s when he created the AK-47, died in his home city of Ishevsik, Is near the Ural Mountains where his gun is still made, as spokesman for the Mercia province's president said on state television. No cause of death has been given yet. Kalashnikov was fitted with a pacemaker at a Moscow hospital in June and had been in hospital in Esfeth since November 17th, Signia reported. Sambalay music accompanied tributes that led evening news reports on state TV. And President Vladimir Putin expressed deep sympathy for Kalashnikov's loved ones. A son of Siberian peasants who never finished school, Kalashnikov invented one of the Soviet Union's best known and most imitated products. Shortly after fighting in World War II, he created the AK 47 whose numbers stand for the year 1947. The A is for Abatomat, automatic rifle, and the K is for Kalashnikov. Later versions of the AK-47 are still a mainstay of Russia's armed forces and police more than 60 years after the original rifle went into service in, in the military in 1949. At a Kremlin ceremony on Kalashnikov's 90th birthday, then President Dmitry Medvedev bestowed upon him the highest state honor, the Hero of Russia Gold Star Medal, and lauded him for creating the national brand every Russia, Russian is proud of. But Kalashnikov said pride in his invention was mixed with the pain of seeing it used by criminals and child soldiers, as well as being embraced by armies anti-Western revolutionary movements and leftist leaders around the world. The revolutionary cheap and simple rifle has been used by gangsters, drug traffickers, militants, and rebels of all stripes. And now, on for two, some science news. got an upgrade recently. NASA's Mars rover Curiosity has gotten a brand new software update, but the intrepid robot's wheels are a little worse for wear. Official at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in La Canada, Lintridge reported last week that they upgraded Curiosity's software as it headed toward Mount Sharp, the three-mile-high mound in the middle of Gale's crater. The laser shooting laboratory on wheels has already found habitable environments suitable for s certain Earth like microbes. They hope that Mount Sharp's clay rich layers could be a lot in clues as to exactly how life friendly the Red Planet could have been. This upgrade, known as version 11, would be the third for the Mars Science Laboratory rover. Since it touched down Gale Crater in August of 2012, Curiosity underwent a major brain transplant shortly after landing to replace its flight mode software with programming better suited for hooking it on wheels. Among other changes, the latest software update improves Curiosity's ability to use its robotic arms on slopes when it reaches Mount Sharp. 
by unlike software, Curiosity's hardware can't be repaired or upgraded from afar. And so the team paid attention, but on November 30th, full taken by the rover to Mars hand lens imager, revealed dents and holes pocking Curiosity's left front wheel, a sign of increased wear and tear on the rover's thin aluminum wheels in recent weeks. The roving robot has been playing bursting terrain riddled with sharp rocks recently, which could be the blame for the accelerated damage. The wheels can sustain significant damage without impairing the rover's ability to drive, Mark Science Laboratory Project Manager Jim Erickson said in a statement. However, we would like to understand the impact that this terrain type has on the wheels to help with planning future drives. Curiosities Handlers may try to reroute the rover around such rough, rocky patches on its approximately 5.3 mile path to Mount Shore, and they plan to stop on a nice flat patch in a relatively loose spot sometime soon and use the camera to get a full picture of the wheel damage. I am a sports fan, love 100, and peace out. See you next time for our edition of Sports Science News. Thank you guys for watching today's episode.